Okay, ready for a new adventure? Don't let me lick any more cacti. Can't really stop you. You just seem to do whatever you want. If I start licking a cactus, just throw dynamite at me. <laughs> you heard that, everyone? I've got permission now. Only if I lick a cactus. What are we doing today? Going into this house. This one? This house. We're breaking into someone's house. All right, breaking and entering. One of my favorite hobbies. Um... What's transpired here? Obviously, he's practicing CPR on this unconscious settler. I think he's practicing chaos magic. Chaos magic sounds like blood magic. I don't approve. I approve of blood magic, but not when it's a whiny lady with face tattoos that's doing it. Oh, yeah. I just fucking killed a man. Woo! <laughs> uh, why? Uh, why would you ask a question like that, Zach? That's a really good point, because normally I just kill people without asking why. It just felt right, man. Ah, oh, dude. I could feel the blood on my face. <laughs> so hyped. You sound like you're high. Are you high, Mr. Cheddar? I don't think I've ever heard of anybody getting high on weed and deciding to kill somebody. <laughs> well, this guy could be the first. Maybe he is the first. I Generally, if you get high on weed before you're going to go kill somebody, you're going to go... All right, I'm ready to kill this guy. Man, I'm really hungry. I should eat first. And then you go get food, and then you forget that you were going to kill somebody, because that's what weed does. Is that why he's named after a cheese? Because he got hungry? The cheese that he was going to get, but then he forgot what his name was, so now he's trying to find provolone. I'm on this new drug called Hype. Best thing I've ever done. I've killed like 12 people today. <laughs> Feels better every time. <laughs> Dude, we just got back from the Pacific Ocean, where we killed literally droves of people. They were all clones, so they're not real people. Uh, yeah, I guess, if you want to look at it that way, yeah. we've killed one person? We've killed one person today? I think cumulatively, yes, we've killed one person. <laughs> Whatever drug this guy is on, probably not so great. Yeah, I would stay away from it. <sighs> hey, dude. Can you let me kill you, please? Please? <laughs> please? Please, please? <laughs> this guy wants to kill me. What a request. You say no, but all I hear is, Yes! 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 Let's do this! Feel the heat! <laughs> I agree! Let's kill him! Wow, you Hope gotta... you broke into a random man's house and killed him in cold blood with your shotgun that you're known for carrying. Yes, it clearly was Hope. I'm going to call the police. <laughs> Hello, police? Oh, Officer Vincent, so good of you to show up. I want you to take this woman into custody. <laughs> Officer Vincent, is he now? On a random note, I like this moleskin rug. Ooh, I didn't notice that, but yeah, it's not bad. That's Seems... kind of cute. Oh, he had a ripper. He didn't have a chance to use it, though. Look, I found his jaw. Yeah, you've got a real talent for blowing that off their heads. I find them very easily. It also seems bigger than his head actually was. But maybe that's just the case for human jaws, that they look bigger than they actually are once they're removed from a head. I wouldn't know. I've never been a serial killer before. Ask these bloody ligatures. 53 Abraxo cleaner. Whatever he was going to clean, he was going <laughs> to clean it really well. Apparently, the drug he was on, hype, not only makes him hyper-violent, but also incredibly clean. It sounds like math. Only meth doesn't make you incredibly clean. It makes you clean things. And all your teeth fall out. So I guess technically your mouth is clean after you do a bunch of meth. <laughs> Get rid of all those pesky dirty teeth. Are you tired of dirty teeth? Take meth. Your teeth will all fall out. Take Zach's secret to avoiding dental fees. Never visit the dentist again. That's not my secret. That's your secret. <laughs> my secret for avoiding dental fees is to just do all my dentistry at home. I don't even want to know. I chipped one of my teeth at one point, and I went to the dentist, and they were like, okay, it's going to be like $600 to file this down. And I was like, uh, I don't have $600. No, I know where this story is going. So I went to Walmart and bought a set of really, really fine, like, jeweler's files, and then just kind of filed the sharp edge off the tooth in my bathroom. Why? Why do you do these things? It didn't really hurt. That's not the point. I saved six hundred dollars! Oh, who can argue with that, I suppose? Six hundred bucks! Saved! Well, technically, only like five hundred and eighty dollars, because I had to buy the files. I didn't have them already. He's and then, as a bonus, I got to use the files for building model kits. <laughs> Why wouldn't you let a professional touch your teeth? For six hundred dollars? Yes! I did the exact same thing he was gonna do. 
Okay. Granted, I may have poked my tongue a couple times with the file, but you can't tell me that he wouldn't have done the exact same thing. You're right. You're better than the dentist. Yes, I am. Removing my teeth is something that I leave to the professionals. Oh, I'm glad you at least have that common sense. What I do is if I need to get dental work done, I move to a different state. I have them do the dental work, and then I just move back to the state I was living in. And then I don't pay them. <laughs> yeah. You've only got 49 dental visits left in your life, huh? Oh, shoot. I guess you're right. Well, now it's like 43. <laughs> Crap. I might be screwed here, especially with the soft teeth that I have. Might have to ration your dental visits out. Uh, another fun story about dental work. I oh, realize God. we're getting completely off topic here, but I must tell this story. I was eating a bowl of noodles at one point, and my molar cracked. A huge chunk of it came off. I started chewing on it, and I went, there's not hard things inside noodles. Unless you're eating raw noodles, <laughs> in which case, yes, there's hard things. But I'm eating cooked noodles. Why is this happening? And it was a little tiny piece, like maybe the size of a, like a pushpin head. And I spit it out, and it was a chunk of my tooth, and I went, oh, that's great. It didn't hurt, so I just left it. And then about six months later, I was grinding my teeth in my sleep, and when I woke up in the morning, I realized that half of my molar had completely sheared off. Good God, man. So I had to go to the dentist, and they had to basically post my tooth and put a crown on it. So I have a gold molar. You know how sometimes you try and do home repairs, and you don't do them right? You got to hire a professional to not only fix the problem that you originally had, but also to, to undo the bad stuff you've done? That was not my fault. Nothing about that tooth was my fault. If anything, it was my previous dentist's fault, probably because I didn't pay him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know I wasn't going to pay him. It was my previous dentist's fault for not putting the filling in correctly and also mostly my fault for grinding my teeth in my sleep and weakening the tooth in general. You've got a lot of problems, man. I have a lot of dental problems. He had a note on him, so let's read this note, shall we? Okay. Hey, Cheddar. I just wanted to thank you for buying man, and he promised that you won't be disappointed. This hype stuff is intense, man. It's a new thing in the Mojave. Pretty soon everybody will be doing it. Gamblers, little girls, ghouls, little girls, protectrons, little girls. Freaking everybody will be shooting up hype. Even the little girls. Did I mention the little girls? Because I really like them. <coughs> if you ever want some more, and I know you will, just like the little girls do, come back to me in Freeside. I'll be in the corner diagonal from Mick and Ralph Cryer. You can't miss me, because, you know, the Mick and Ralph Cryer, he doesn't ever really go anywhere. He doesn't ever take lunch or anything. He's a really hard worker. Don't think he's ever showered either. He's a really hard worker, man. He's like always out there. He's lost his force four times. Does make sure the NCR doesn't get this note. You know how they are, man. You can't just let people enjoy themselves. Gotta keep working man down, right? Anyway, I hope you have a good time. Don't get too crazy, you hear? From your buddy, Stilton. P.S. Bring some more of those little dental pick things you use to clean out your teeth. I don't know where any are, and I've been using this wishbone that I pulled out of a turkey that I ate three months ago. <laughs> Looks like Cheddar and you have the same dental procedures. I have very good dental procedures. I brush my teeth twice a day. Do you use a uh, wishbone as well? No, I use an actual toothbrush because I'm not a maniac. Well, I guess you've got a leg up on this guy. He doesn't have a toothbrush. That's his problem. What he does have is a bunch of drugs on him, though. Would you like to go on a murderous hype rampage? I don't particularly want to. Oh man, allergies. My allergies are going nuts. Hang on, I'm gonna take some allergy medication really quick. Normally, I don't condone the use of drugs, but I really need some allergy medication. I don't recall allergy medication coming in a syringe. Uh... Usually I take it in pill format. I also don't recall allergy medication making me so thirsty and angry. My mouth is really dry, and I really, really want some water, and you look like you've got a lot of water in you. By water, I mean blood. Give me all of your blood! 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 I need all the blood. All the blood. There's more blood over this way. I can smell it. Where is this blood? I know he stole my liver. He's got my liver. I know it. Zach, did you accidentally take some hype, perhaps? I didn't take any hype! Give me your liver! I know there's blood in this thing. How do I get it out of here? Open up. I want all of this blood. Give me the blood. Blood, 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 blood! blood. <laughs> okay, well. I wonder how long this drug lasts. Surely you're not going to attack Albin's father. Oh, hello, Albin's father. Tell me, uh, how much blood do you have? Oh, he's a staple of the community. Leave him alone. Is he's it a lot of blood? He's done nothing to you. Delicious blood. No! I think you might have a problem, my friend. 
No, what I need is blood to get rid of these allergies that I have. Give me your blood, please. I can't tell if you're going crazy or just having a normal day. Uh. Hey, he's awake. Uh. I'm sure the survivors will be overjoyed to hear it. Uh. Wake up, dumbass. Who are you? <laughs> People you haven't killed. Oh. Not for lack of trying, though. What happened? Uh, you went on a drug fueled rampage, killed about three random settlers. Well, that happens every time I take Allegra. Did Doc Mitchell literally just heal me and throw me on the stairs? No, <laughs> no. The door's been locked. Oh, all right. Let's get out of here before they call the police. <laughs> before they call Vincent. Oh God, I still have radiation illness. <laughs> Oh, from the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, it's, you know... Every time we come back from a trip to the ocean, we have to cure our radiation sickness. Every time. I can't believe you filed your own tooth. It was one time, and I really needed to file it down because I kept catching the bottom of my tongue on it, and it really hurt. Mm, you could just filed your tongue down. Well, no, because the tongue is neat. Hey, listen. I'd love to sell you some more info, but you've tapped everything I've heard lately. Come back in a few days. I'll put my ear to the ground and hopefully have heard a few more things by then. It's been like six months since we last talked to you. It has been like six months. And also, you'll put your ear to the ground? What ear? You don't have okay. any left. His hole. His ear hole. I'll put my hole to the ground. <laughs> if it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Hello, Mick and Ralph's crier. He's got like the face of a 50-year-old man <laughs> on a boy's body. He's seen some garbage already. Right. Oh, yes, back when I was in kindergarten a year ago, <laughs> I remember. When I, I was your age, we had chocolate milk and white milk. Those are the only two options, and we were grateful. Now we you guys grateful. got strawberry milk. It's disgusting. Oh, strawberry milk is foul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick my head in this mailbox. Hello there. Oh, uh, hi there. Green lips. Ugh. We make comments about people looking gross, but man. Ugh. That is like, I think the game literally just crashed. I was staring at this guy and it crashed the game. He was so foul. <laughs> the game didn't even want to look at it anymore. Just tired of it. The game was like, uh -uh. if I have to render this, you have to look at it forever. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm Joan of Arc. No, don't burn me at the stake. I'm not a witch. God told me to do it. The most perfect Joan of Arc impression I've ever seen. Joan of Arc is a hero of France. I can't believe I did that. Too soon, Zach. Too soon. Too soon. Hey, buddy. What can I do you for? Oh, is this guy again? <laughs> this guy again. Uh, my sinuses are wicked clogged right now, and I could really use some allergy medication. You have any allergy medication for our friend Zach here? I don't know. Are you a cop, man? Uh, No. Awesome! I totally believe you! <laughs> so, are you thinking about buying some hype? I'm already pretty hyped, but what is hype? It's the newest thing, man! Everybody's doing it! I guarantee that you've never had anything as good as these. We met one of your other clients named Cheddar. I, I suspect it might be making people homicidal. Yeah, that's just a small side effect. Nothing too big. People be killing each other all the time anyway. It's the Mojave after all. He's got a valid point. You know, out of sheer curiosity, completely unrelated to what we were asking you, who supplies you? I can't tell you that, Maine. I don't give info like that to just anybody. But we're not just anybody. We are the infamous bounty hunters. We have met the enemy, and they are ours. Oliver Hazard Perry. Are you quoting somebody? Yeah, it's Oliver Hazard Perry. Oh, okay. He defeated the British in the Battle of Lake Erie. Why would you want to battle over Lake Erie? It's like the least great of the Great Lakes. It was part of the War of 1812. Oh, best war ever. The one that ends in a stalemate. Just a bunch of dead bodies and nothing accomplished. Give us your supplier now! Please, with a cherry on top. Pretty, pretty, please. All right, buddy. You seem cool. <laughs> I get it from my bro, Manchego. He's got a base over in Westside. Go ahead and meet him. He's a cool guy. Uh, we appreciate that, Stilton. Yeah, we'll see you later, Stilton. All right, buddy. Have a good one. Hooray, we didn't have to kill this one. Let's yeah, go find the person supplying go, him. Let's go find... Charles... Charlesburg?